What is up YouTube and welcome back to Brutal Strength Day 126. Huge upper body session today and you'll see in the end that I tested my bicep strength like all out but it came down to being only because I miscalculated the weight on the bar that I thought I was going to use. But I started out again as usually with these um, like dead stop pull ups chest to bar 8 reps with what 5kg I think it is yeah 5kg. Um, I would have liked them to be like more um, vertical. I'm pulling too far away from the bar, especially on one of the sets that I didn't include here. I, I want to make it more or less like pull more straight up in a vertical line, avoid getting my legs too far in front. Um, as you can see that my chin comes quite far away from the bar. And I mean, it's not necessarily anything bad, but I want it to be like when I'm doing chin up or pull up to the bar as well, where the bar touches, I want to be that close to the bar all the time as well when I'm doing these chest to bar pull ups, because otherwise they become a little bit different in the pattern that I'm using, because I end up being further away from the bar when it would usually be touching the bar. Now it's maybe like 20 centimeters away from the bar. And that is something I want to try and work on and avoid. And it's all come down, comes down to like just I think pulling more with my lats. But it's something I'll have to keep working on because as you know, I have the thing that like with my left shoulder, something there, scapula, whatever, that stopped me a little bit from it. Also, it's a bit of a hindering in um in my handstand, for example. You know, I've I can always stay for at least one minute. I've been up in two minutes. It's still something that makes me unable to totally get that external rotation that I need in the shoulder and lock the arm, especially during one arm handstand. After that, it was on to these lateral raises that I'm doing twice a week. For this training, as you have told before, I'm just doing like half the reps of my PR for four sets, so easy stuff but it makes me able to focus a lot on the control and I'm still trying to work on the same things over and over again because it takes a lot of repetition to get things locked in. So it's, as always, it's the keeping the pinky finger a little bit upwards, stopping early so I'm not getting up so far that there's no tension because even though it's a bigger range of motion when I get all the way up, I take tension over the muscle and I actually get to rest a little bit. So instead I need to stop a little bit earlier to keep all the tension on the muscle. But I'm, ha I'm really happy with how the, those reps moved, especially considering it's 14 kg. After that moved on to the helm throw and here I can actually do them without having a shirt on my, um, like um, protecting my chest because this bench is actually pretty, um, pretty um what do you call it like um like safe on the it doesn't hurt having my, having my chest down on there i did a set of 10 with 30 kg that i was happy with and then i did a couple of sets with 24 kg and obviously built up to the 30 kg with some ascending sets overall pretty happy with how things moved then moving on to bench and i pushed back to the um first week of the second block because it's been like two or three weeks without benching so I wanted to just start the block over actually today I'm recording this one week later and it's going to be the second week of the bench block so I did two sets of two with with um 105 kg which was pretty good I'm trying to focus on keeping a little bit longer pauses and the other thing I'm trying to focus on is on the way down keeping my elbows a little bit tucked in and then on the way up letting them go further out because that's something I saw a video from Brendan Chips about where he mentions that people like John Heck and all of the best benders in the world they have their elbows tucked in a little bit in the beginning and then flare them out while going up because they're stronger in that position and can get their elbows further under the bar where you're able to put as much power as possible into that bar. So if you think about it, like when your elbows 
are in. They might not be all the way over the bar, like lined up directly below the bar. So your forearms are not going to be in the best line, like like um, directly under your hands. But when you flare, flare them out on the way up, then they're going to be in a much stronger position. They're going to be directly under your hands. That way you can put as much, transfer as much power from your chest and into your forearms as well and push up. Then for the straight curls, I did 16 reps with 18 kg, 23, 28, 33, and lastly, as you see here, 38 kg. I found out I was supposed to use 2.5 kg less for each set. I guess that was, that's what happens when you don't check your program leading up to it. Well, like I hadn't done strict curl for what, like two weeks. So, and I didn't check what I had to do. I just thought that was it. So that was heavy, but now the positive is that now I at least know my limit. And I'll go a little bit easier on the next week and build up again to this, what I was actually supposed to do. So it's gonna be like five weeks more because before I'm gonna be back to this. So I know that everything I want to then I can do some of it with with big ease. So that's a good thing. That is all for Brute Strength Day 126 guys. I'm out.